Hello there, and welcome back to another episode of Daily Magic. My name is Slytherin Knight, and I'm so happy you could join me. So today's daily quest is to play 40 lands, nice and easy. Um, to do this, to at least get it started, uh, I highly doubt I'll be finishing it in today's episode. We're gonna run some mono black skeletons. I don't, I don't think I've showed this deck just yet. Uh, I could be wrong. But yeah, it's exactly as it sounds. Every card in here, other than Gissa, is a skeleton. And the reason she's in the deck is because of her ability skeletons and zombies you control get plus one, plus one, and have Menace, just a force mul multiplier. The main feature of the deck besides her is Corpse of the Lost. Skeletons you control get plus one and plus zero. And have Haste. Yeah. It also creates a 2-2 uh, Black Skeleton Pirate creature token, and uh, at the beginning of your instep, if you descend to this turn, you can pay one uh, to pull it back to your hand so that you can play it again to get that 2-2 two -two Skeleton again. That's the, um, the idea, at least. So, yeah. Of the creatures, we have um, Colt Conscript, Forsaken Miner, Tiny Bones, the Pickpocket, and that's it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a very, in terms of mana cost, very cheap. Um, though it heavily, heavily relies on having a big creature presence and having this. If I had, um, I would prefer to have two more copies of this, but I just, I don't at the moment. So that would be a preference. But yeah. Case of the stashed skeleton is kind of there to where if you can get it down to its solvability, if you don't have Corpse of the Lost, you can... Sacrifice, the, sacrifice this card for two and uh, search a card to pull out a Corpse of the Lost. That's kind of the idea. So, hopefully this goes well. I have very, very um, mixed feelings about this deck. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Like I said, it is heavily reliant on having a lot of creatures on the field. Yeah, heavily reliant on trying to overpower or over, overwhelm your opponent. Like this isn't this isn't a bad hand to start with, not really. Though going up against red might be might be a little annoying. We can go ahead and immediately get rid of that. Don't need you ramping up any. Manifold mouse. Oh, joy. I'm actually surprised. about right. Boost it, give it double strike. Very basic. So they can do at least seven damage here if they don't. Well, actually, no. They'll no. They they have me beat here already. So good match. Yeah, we did a lot better than I expected. If I had had a little bit more, um, a little bit more removal, things probably would have been. Would have been better. I would have gotten rid of their manifold mouse, is what I would have done. But sometimes that's just not it's not in the cards for you, right? 
I do like this deck. I feel like it's missing something. Like there's not enough skeleton creatures, and I don't, I don't like cult, cult, uh, cult conscript because it goes in on its first turn tapped. I mean, I know that doesn't really mean anything because it doesn't have haste anyway. But it's just not my favorite card. And once it leaves the field, you're not going to be putting it back onto the field because you don't have the only creature you have that's a non-skeleton is Gissa, and you really don't want to be losing her. Well, if I can survive long enough, I have plenty of plenty of swamps to go towards our 40 lands. Okay, that'll be getting taken out with a fell next turn. Yeah, I don't need I don't need that on the field. Maple can be a troublemaker. cutdowns, don't they? Do they have like a brick hand? Is that what's happening? What, like, what's going on? I mean, they didn't play anything until they had three mana to send out Mabel, and they have five cards in hand, but they're not playing anything. There we go, there's a manifold. Get rid of both of those. I'm actually going to let them have this. No, I'm going to let them have this. Because um, there's always that chance they would throw in. They can't play that. You don't have the mana for it. There's always a chance they would play um, yeah, something to boost its power past five. I don't, yeah, I don't know. That's fine. This is going to hurt. Yeah, what's coming up is going to hurt. Can I still? No. No, I didn't think so. Yeah, with its boosted power, that becomes kind of a... Yeah, it's still... Yeah, I should have I should have burned it. Because all I'm pulling is land, which is really, really unfortunate. Good for... Um, I wonder. Nope, still. Still. Yeah, that boosts its base power up to 6, so yeah, that's kind of a problem. I'm going to be really, I'm going to be really though I don't I really don't think if I if I had thrown out cut down yeah they would have just used might of the meek to boost it. Yeah, to boost it from the beginning, so
And I can make the same mistake. It's on the top of the stack. So, boom. Yes, you get your prowess. It does still pull the card. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, you can't play that. I need to be able to get rid of you. Uh, that'll do it. Yeah, that'll do it. So that's three damage if I take it out. It has a ward one. Four damage now. Oh, five? Wait. Oh, okay. Well, now, now it's my loss. I can't get rid of that card. If I get rid of it, I die. So, um, I'm okay with that. I'm still, I'm okay with it. Go out on my terms. Oh, they chose not to? That's funny. Well, never mind then. Good game. Say so yeah, if you're just gonna sit there, I'll I'll concede because I mean I can't win. Well done. Now why were they getting? See now why were they getting doubles? Let me. Uh, if you would put. One or more counters. Gotcha. Yeah, the level the level three of innkeeper's talent. That's yeah, that's kinda what I figured. But you see what I mean? This deck, it sometimes it works. That time I was getting I was getting absolutely flooded. Flooded with land. So that really didn't help. There's a few cards I could have pulled that would have won me the match there. The um Yeah, but so it's it's like it works sometimes. Just not as often as I would like. I'm almost willing to like look into it and start dropping mana. Dropping my mana down to, I think, a 20 count instead of like 24. And adding in even more removal. But, I, just, I don't know. Like this, this is, this is decent. I still would prefer to start off with a cavern, or with the, um, that three cost card. The names, the names failing me. The one that creates a two-two token. Hello. Let's go ahead and send out the conscript. This, I believe, would be your your main turn one play is the cold conscript because it's not like you can do anything with it anyway. Yeah. No. None of that. None of that, thank you. And what's your thing? Add in mana. Gotcha. Fine with that. Send in your next. Ah, Laughing Jasper. Very nice. That's unfortunate. Um, that's fine. No, I want to keep the card. So what two cards are you going to get rid of? Oh, two lands. Thank you. That actually is very helpful. 
Yeah, they don't want to lose. And I, I mean, I was getting ready to attack. I just wanted to guarantee my victory. They had a lot of mana there. I think they had one card in hand, so. And then, and then yeah, and you can have a match like that where everything is just going exactly the way you hope it does. So yeah, it's not, so no, it's not a bad deck at all. It's just, it's heavily reliant on making sure you pull. Well, I mean, let's look, let's look at the deck one more time. Um... This is the card I was talking about, Corpse, uh, Corpses of the Lost. But yeah, I run 24 Swamps. I really don't think I need that since the vast majority, my most expensive card is 5. And I'm getting that fairly easily. So, I don't know. Dropping this down to 20, yeah, you know, dropping that down to 20 to give myself 4 copies of another bit of removal. Or maybe a zombie card? I don't know. But it's something I do want to think about it for a little while before I make any... Uh, changes but anyway uh, I did see we leveled up what did we get we got we did get a pack got a card style for sticky tongue sentinel a very annoying card has a 3-3 three, three reach and when it enters uh, what one other I can't hold on return uh, return up to one target uh, one other target creature you control to its owner's hand yeah, so it's pretty good with those with the Semic Frog deck, if that's if that's your thing. But anyway, we do have a pack to open, so let's get to that. Hmm, not too terrible. This is a pretty good scales. Scales of shells, pretty good. Uh, Steam Path Charger's not bad either. When it dies, it deals one damage to a target player, so it becomes a pretty good chump blocker for it for a lizard deck if you wanted that. Um, okay. What is Scavenger's Talon? Okay. With that, I do believe it's time to wrap things up. If you enjoyed this episode, which I do sincerely hope you did, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you happen to be new to the channel, hello, welcome, and please do consider subscribing. And to stay up to date for whenever new content is released to the channel, do not forget to hit that bell icon after you subscribe. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. And I will see you all next time.